is people at their best. We all want to do the most impossible things and things that we never thought we could even do. And in the end, the reason why we want to bring out the best of who we are is because that product we put out there in the world, the immersive experiences that we create, they touch people in a way that I think we want the world, we want our children, we want our friends, we want our family, we want our spouses, we want ourselves to remember forever, to touch that place within them that reminds them of their childhood, that reminds them of their dreams, that inspires them to be more, to be the best. Because in the end, it's about creating a better place. The blue sky process is when we really start with the nugget of an idea. It's that time in the process where you get the most freedom and can be the most exciting and the most scary at the same time. Marty Sklar always said a, a blank page can be the most frightening or exciting thing in the world. We approach uh, all our projects with a, a blank sheet of paper, you know, as it being the sky's the limit. It's the opportunity to figure out what if or what is it, or what can it be? It's part of our Disney DNA to make the best possible guest experience we can. Part of design and part of being an Imagineer is what I can create and what I can help create impacts people. Someone once asked me why I do what I do, and really for me, I'm in service to the creation of memories. What I can create and what I can help create impacts people when they see these things and they visit them and have a good time with their families, that's really impactful. It's nostalgia. It's, it's memory. And memory is so important. It makes us more. I know that our parks are special for so many people, including myself and my family. The trip that I remember most was um, when I was eight. It was just a few months before my father passed away. Um, and it was the last time that our whole family was together. Um, it was at a Disney park. And that, I think, is what really cemented the power of, of the coming together of a family. That's a memory that, that I'll always carry with me for the rest of my life. Um, I take on bringing new experiences to the parks, bringing new experiences to the guests with a great win. What we're trying to bring into the parks with our Pixar characters and with our environments is we're trying to bring that authentic human feeling that just taps into your heart and that you want to share with others. People often ask, why Pixar? Why Pixar for us? And why all these things hang together? Is it what Pixar does so beautifully? Is that it speaks to the best of life. And while not all of their characters are human, I think that they purposely create their characters so that they speak to everybody. They're, none of their characters are perfect. They're all beautifully flawed, but they're optimistic. And the way that they look at life is filled with optimism. And so when you watch a Pixar film, when you watch it, you see yourself in those characters. I think that's when magic happens, right? Is when we bring these experiences and these characters to life for our guests in a way that they would not find anywhere else. When you see a movie then, you're able to see yourself, your unit of, of marriage within that movie. That makes you a Pixar fan for life. With Wally and Eve, they were able to communicate without actually saying anything to one another. And it's just a sweet, beautiful love story. And I find parallels to that in my life with my wife and my family. My wife and I have been together for 28 years. She's the one that, you know, when I'm having a bad day, she's the one that recharges my batteries. And we are in love as much as we were back in the very first year. As a husband and as a father, I bring those two attributes to work. And so it's our opportunity from Imagineering to bring Pixar Pier to life in the same way, you know, with heart and being able to show families that this is a place that they can come and have fun. Pixar Pier is a re-theming of the entire Paradise Pier area of Disney California Adventure. It is going to be a kind of new place in my eyes where Pixar characters live among us in different ways too. The story of Pixar Pier is still what our guests know and love when we build off on that. It is a seaside pier in California, and that's the architecture and that's the home of our place. We want our guests, when they walk through this space, to feel it. We're creating a new entrance to the pier, 
you have this beautiful Pixar Pier marquee, and then as you come in, we're really trying to embrace that turn of the century architecture. The Imagineering team went up and down the California coast looking at all the different turn of the century piers and what they had to offer. When we were doing our research trips, we wanted to kind of bring in a little bit of that elegance. And so it's this gigantic entrance statement with these big, beautiful red domes and beautiful lights. And then you're getting that gorgeous Pixar lamp up there greeting you as you walk in. Working with the Pixar team and our Imagineering team, we came up with this neighborhood concept. Uh, where we really grouped these stories into these neighborhood experiences. So while you were in that neighborhood, you were immersed in a story. We're bringing places to life that our guests haven't seen anywhere. We haven't really built out Inside Out before. We haven't given more of a presence to Incredibles anywhere in our parks. And to be able to do these things and to create these things and bring them to life in a way that they all can connect together worked for us. Incredibles Park is going to be this great opportunity to finally step into that mid-century world. I think it's going to be really fun for guests to go in and just be in this environment um, that feels like a film. As you look around and the design and the aesthetic of the area has this wonderful mid-century feel. It's very inspired by the production design of The Incredibles and Incredibles 2 and, and harkens back to that look. Everything is going to support that story from the beginning to end. So there's nothing that you see in there it's only going to take you out of the world of the Incredibles. That's where the strength of the Imagineers comes in, where they just, they think of every little nuanced detail about everything and how to make it real. Some of the, the resources that I drew on to find inspiration were actually at Imagineering. All of the buildings that surround this place were built in the 60s. In addition to that, it was really working with our Pixar partners. Um, I worked with their designer, Ralph Eggleston, and we drew stuff on napkins, and I ended up doing this little A-frame sketch that was inspired by the Incredibles new house in the film, and that's the one that stuck, and it looks really cool. I think guests are going to be really surprised at how fun the story is on the Incredicoaster. It's always challenging to tell a story at coaster lightning speed, but the amount of story and time you get with the characters and this great score, uh, I think is really going to be entertaining for guests. There are actually special effects being installed on the roller coaster today that literally didn't exist two months ago. And so I, I just, my hat's off to the team because they have done a remarkable job. Your experience when you go from Incredibles to Toy Story is cohesive, but you still feel like it's part of the same story. Toy Story Midway Mania really is the anchor for this new Toy Story Boardwalk area. It's really fun to have this world. You are on a boardwalk. Now we're expanding that story, and it's just this critter carousel to this giant, beautiful carousel place that's all for critter friends. And the critters have made a tiny cameo in Toy Story 2 and Woody's Roundup as little cardboard cutouts, and now they're starting to expand on that story, and people are getting to experience that. I think that's one of the great opportunities that we have when we bring the Pixar films to life in the Disney parks, is that we can take what the filmmakers made and envisioned, and we can build it out even further. We wanted to honor the spirit of this 1910 boardwalk in the Pixar Promenade area. Celebrate the Ferris wheel and all those wonderful friendships that we have celebrated. And really creating this place where you feel like you're going to go for a stroll or anything and you may stop and see some of your favorite characters and maybe hear some live music to perform. And then you can wander over to Bing Bong sweet stuff. And Bing Bong, you know, being made of cotton candy himself and crying candy tears thought was the best host for a confectionery. My son has this extreme love of Jangles the Clown and Bing Bong, and so it was getting those, the Jangles and getting those characters uh, for all the guests that love, not just the main ones, but those little ones too. What means the most to me is when my kids love something I did, because they'll probably be my toughest critics if they're not excited about something, they'll let me know as well. And so when I show them a little piece of art or something as we're doing it, when they get excited and they start screaming, Mama, Mama, pull it up on the screen, I know we're doing something right. And so it's the heart, it's the color, it's the humanity of this land. Pixar Pier has been an extraordinary collaboration. Pixar and Imagineering, almost more densely interwoven than any project we've done. Working on Pixar Pier has been fantastic, or we're trying to bring the best of ourselves into the pier. It's going to be a really fun experience for guests. Disneyland is the happiest place on earth. It's always been that for so many people, and it has been that for me. And so I want to be able to live up to that standard, and I want to continue that magical tradition. Ever since I was young, 
uh, I thought the thing in life that would be the most ultimate thing I could ever do was be a dad. And we finally got to the day that um, our son, Hudson, was born. And uh, holding him for the first time changed everything. I was no longer Jeff, I was dad. And to get to see our guests through the eyes of a new father, enjoy these attractions that we build and these lands and experiences that we create and, and build those memories with people that they care about. And to get to do what you dreamed of doing since you were a kid, it's an honor, it's a, it's a privilege, it's a joy. I think one of the things that our guests are going to resonate with is that after they've enjoyed the land and they've had all these experiences with their family and their friends and their loved ones, when they come back out, there's a motto at the top, which is fine, and what Kate says, adventure is out there. And I hope that our guests leave our land feeling like the spirit of adventure, this joy that they have felt, these characters they connected with, the reflection of themselves that they've seen in their own experiences, that they can take that even after they've left the land, because adventure is out there. And so to me, adventure is out there saying to our guests, yes, come here and create your own adventure. It's experience it with family, your friends, your loved ones. But more than that, take it home with you and understand that adventure is everywhere you look. That life is an adventure, right? That you can live your dreams, right? You can live that heightened sense if you know what you want, that you go after, that you explore it, and that it's there if you want to reach for it.